Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, managed to get one of these 6700 XT. Uh, so today is whoops, what two days after the the launch? Um, I believe you guys in the US and the UK actually had crazy time on what Amazon, Best Buy, Newegg, etc. Um, yeah, trying to get this. So to the guys who managed to get these, great. Uh, for you guys who don't, I hope you get it next time. Um, anyway, yeah, so. Yesterday it came out in in Hong Kong as well. Um, I went out yesterday, didn't pick one up, but managed to get one today. Uh, so price-wise, uh, more expensive than in the US. I paid how much did I pay? Six thousand three hundred, which works out to be. Uh, 800 US dollars for this uh, about 600 and 600 pounds about 800 US dollars uh, so it's a sapphire nitro 6700 XT uh, they had gigabytes well that was a little bit cheaper 750 uh, US dollars um, so yeah so this is just gonna be very quick unboxing and then I'm going to try and put some hash rates up for you guys to have a look at uh, I think the first video was made by Dizzy Mining I'm sure Red Panda Mining and Mining Chambers and all, all the uh, most popular guys I'm sure they'll do one soon um, so I'm just going to put one out um, I'm going to try apparently AMD have said that they haven't restricted this like the 3060 where um, well I'm sure you all know about the developers driver um, so I'm going to actually do the same with this I'm going to put it in the PCIe Gen 3 time 16 slot plug a HDMI cable into this thing and see what it does and then I'm just going go back to norm where I use the riser etc and see if there's any difference there shouldn't be um, but I'll try and do that for you as well. So, uh, um, quick unboxing. Let me just get this. Um, anyway, so it's this. Uh, okay. There you go. Installation book. That's about it. Um, in comparison to my 6800 XT. My XFS one. This is actually a lot, well, not a lot lighter, but lighter-ish. Uh, three fans is the same. Middle fan is a little bit smaller. It's got all this wrapping on it, so definitely need to remove those. Um, what else is there to say with this? Uh, Dimension-wise, let me get a ruler. You can find this on their website anyway. Uh, dimension wise is about just over 30, actually. 31 centimeters long. Uh, width wise, it's about five centimeters wide. Just over five centimeters. Um, eight pin, six pin. No plastic uh, covering. Um, I think this is the LED lights so with this uh, with the sapphire they have a bias switch which if you can see it's here so the, apparently there's three settings uh, performance you can't quite see it it's just uh, a little switch uh, performance silence mode and software switch which I believe you can use the software to switch it from performance to silent uh, so yeah so there's that uh, there's what else is there I'll link the website anyway um, they have some the specs boost clock is about 2600 megahertz 
game clock is 25. I'm just reading this from the website. 12 gig RAM, as you know, just DDR6, so not the X. So I believe this is a little bit, hopefully, it runs a little bit cooler. Uh, TDB is 260 watts, so it's getting up there, uh, but it's still using what six and eight pins. Uh, it's got their own sapphire cooling technology, but well, we'll see in a minute when I plug it all in. Uh, surprising, it doesn't have any disc protection. Right, so let's see if we can do this. Uh, power's in, power switch is on, let's see if it works. That's not good. Oh, yes, it is. There it goes. Phew. Fancy. Back. Uh, Twenty-one dot three dot one. Release date. Oh, actually, that's a little bit different. But install. 6700 XT, Samsung memory, uh, drivers, this one, GPU memory, junction temperature, I don't know why it's grayed out actually, uh, let's see if this changes, okay, oh no it's not, there it goes, home, 21.3.1, it's uh, AMD 6700, Verizon. Okay, let's have a look. Which I'm sure you guys are interested in. Okay, Phoenix Miner works. Forty point two, forty three point nine, forty four point seven. So this is a bit fluctuating, isn't it? Forty four point eight. So this is bearing in mind that the card is plugged into the PCIe 16 slot uh, so I should put on a riser and see and run the HDMI off uh, a different card so it's about 44 um, memory temperature 68 oh actually this is stock still 116 watts now Okay, forty-six point three, forty-six point six. Actually, I want to try this on the riser. Let's see if we can go up to this. Forty six point five forty seven forty seven point six forty seven point six, I think. Forty six point eight. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll plug it into the riser and use a different uh, card. Right, so 
So you can see 700 is plugged in to the riser and the monitor is powered by my 1600, uh, I mean 1660 um, and then I also plugged in my 6800 XT. So I've got the 6700 here, 1660 here which is powering the monitor. Two is good, okay. So I can disable mining on GP2 is disabled. So, so hardware miner, the hardware miner, um, hardware in full uh, 60 degrees, 76 degrees memory that's based on automatic. 166 watts and uh, doing all this junction temperature fan is actually quite low that's why so let's put it back to low profile which basically sets this fan up to 2700 rpm uh, junction temperature is already going down if you can see sorry Forty seven, forty six point nine, forty seven point eight. I wonder if it can hit fifty. Um, that's at min. Maybe we can go up to say fourteen twenty. Voltage, maybe we can go down. Oh, it's already at 8, 87, 117. That's at max, can't do anything about that. Ah, memory timing, fast. Let's see what happens there. So, re RAM tuning. I forgot to set fast timing. It's at 20. Let's zoom out a bit. Twenty-one fifty. Fast timing. Okay. Power-wise, it's doing one seventeen. Fan, it's up to you. Uh, a thousand. Maybe we can go down a bit more. Fourteen twenty. We're doing forty-seven. 48.4 looks like 47.6 is the average yeah that's it guys I've got to go to bed oh, it's nearly midnight um, so I'll keep playing with it and I'll try and put a part 2 out so at the moment um, let me have a look so at the moment I'm getting roughly 48.1 ish uh, 116 watts GPU 2 you can ignore um, 51 degrees so temperature wise it's not bad so this is the temperature 